Hey, this is Michael Short from WASP Pro Plugins. And in this video, I want to introduce to you Live Editor Pro for Oxygen. But before we get started, I first want to talk about why we designed or developed this plugin in the first place. So as agency owners, we deal with clients all the time. And one of the pet peeves that we have is having to train and retrain them over and over again on how to use page builders. And so we decided to solve this issue by creating our Live Editor Pro, in this case for Oxygen. So let's go ahead and get started. But before I show you how we do that, let's go look in the back end and how we have this installed. So all we have on this install is Oxygen 3.0 beta version, as well as our Live Editor Pro for Oxygen. So once you've installed and activated the plugin, the first thing you wanna do is go to Settings, Live Editor Pro for Oxygen. And at first you won't have access to this. You'll wanna click on the License tab and then enter your license key. And once it's successfully activated, then you can go to the settings and you'll see this here. However, I'm not gonna cover this quite yet. We're gonna first go and take a look at how the page is built inside of Oxygen. So you can see that there's nothing fancy being done here. So here we are inside of Oxygen. I've opened up multiple tabs to make this process much quicker so we don't have to wait for it to load. If I click on these elements, you'll see that they're just the simple, easy to edit elements. There's nothing uh, special about them. We've got text links, we have the headers, headings, and we have text, we have images, and so forth. And if we come down here, we, we'll see we also have a video. So we have multiple elements on our page, including an icon here. And so now let's show you how exactly we uh, edit these with Live Editor Pro. So let's go back to the front end. So here we are on the front end, and now you'll notice that we have two options here at the top. Again, we have Oxygen, Edit with Oxygen, and at Live Editor. So let's go ahead and click on Live Editor. The first time that you actually click on this, you're going to want to go to the hamburger menu and give and manage the roles. And so you want to give total access to the administrator at the very least, and then I uh, would recommend that for limited access, you probably set the editor and perhaps maybe the author role um, for limited access. Now I'm going to show you what this access, total access and limited access actually means. So let's say, for example, your customer wants to uh, give either an employee or maybe a third party vendor access to make changes to their website, uh, but they don't want them to be able to change certain elements on the page. So let's say, for example, this was they don't want any of their employees to the, with the editor role to have access to be able to change this headline. So you just click on this element and down here you'll notice that there's this little lock icon you just click on that and that locks that out from the user role is in limited access so anyone that logs in as an editor will not be able to edit this element here let's go ahead and remove that again also something that you may have noticed just now is that when i clicked on this area uh, this paintbrush icon appeared what that indicates is that this section actually has a background image that can be uh, edited so if you wanted to change this image, for example, you just click on the paintbrush icon, choose a different image, click select, and it replaces it. Now, you'll probably also notice that the image no longer has the color overlay, and that's okay. As soon as you click done and publish and then refresh the page, that color overlay will come back. So now I'm gonna click on various elements just to kind of show you exactly how this live editor works for each of these areas. So let's go ahead and click here. You have the ability to make it bold, italicize, underline, or give each item uh, a link, make it a URL. So you can do that. And then you can, just like any other page editor, you can change you know, where you want that link to open. Let's go ahead and close that out. And let's scroll down and look at some of these other elements. Again, you can just change these, change the text however you see fit. I'm not going to change anything. Actually, I'll just change this to live editor pro and let's say live editor pro testimonials just so you can see once we say we say the changes that they do uh, get saved and if you have an image you can click on the image and then click edit let's replace it with let's say this image and the same with this one let's just do this real quick and just replace it with this one so you can see very easily your customers can come in and edit their website they want to change the testimonial they can do that if they want to change this link they can go ahead and do that here as well let's scroll down so we've basically covered all of the basic elements and if we scroll down you'll also see that we've added a video to this page just to show that you can your customers can also edit their videos so if you click on edit you can change the url and then click update super simple once they're done they click done 
and publish. If I scroll up, you will see the changes that were made, the images, the text, the headline, and the background. Now, I mentioned that if I hit refresh, it will it will bring back the color overlay, just as you see here. All right, so we have one last thing to cover, and that is, if you remember, in the beginning of this video, we uh, discussed really briefly the settings. And so as you see here, you have the ability to change the background color of the toolbar that slides out. So you can change the gradient to whatever colors you want. It doesn't necessarily have to be a gradient, and you can also create it to be multiple color gradient. So you can keep adding uh, various colors um, however you want to add them. So you can totally make a rainbow if that suits your fancy. Uh, but go ahead and click on this and just continue to pick the colors that you want to select. Likewise with the text color, button text color, and the button background color. And then lastly, you can change the background icon, which is the icon that appears when you select, let's go back here. When you select any sections that might have a background image, it's going to, let's go ahead and click on this real quick. You'll see when I click on this background section that it brings up the paintbrush. And also when I click on an icon, it brings up the uh, wrench here. So going back to the settings, you can change those icons by just simply clicking on the icon and choosing the icon that you'd like to replace it with for both icon selector and the background. So let's go ahead and go back to the front end and let's click done. I'm going to discard my changes and that's it. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoy Live Editor Pro for Oxygen.